Hello, it's me, Flora. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. It's about time we did another bullet journal setup video. August is the end of winter and currently it feels like spring is already here. So I don't think it would be that big of a stretch if we use some warmer and more springy colours. I decided to use acrylic paints this time but instead of painting and then finding the most accurate Crayola super tips to use, I figured it'd be better to plan the paint colours based on what colours I'd be using for the super tips. This month consisted of a plum purple slash magenta, a classic warm pink, an almost coral pink, a golden-esque tan, and a medium dark green which I can only describe as soothing but strong. I have this page on one note where I got some of the inspiration for the colours and flowers. I painted a few tulips, a few daisies, and a couple of these flowers which I'm not sure what they are, but they're very cute, so thought I'd include them anyway. And you did it right from the start. I want this month to feel vibrant and bold, so the font I used is more rounded and for titles I used a 0.7 black Muji gel pen. All the major features such as the flowers are outlined using a 0.38 black Muji gel pen. As for the study tracker, nothing has changed in its format. It's still hours of study running horizontally and days running vertically, with four colours to differentiate the subjects. Apple tracker is in a similar graph format. This time I decided I didn't want to spend half an hour simply ruling out lines to create calendars for each habit. Instead, the habits are now running horizontally at the top and the days are running vertically, essentially the same as the study tracker. Beside the study tracker is the mood, which as you have guessed, mood is increasing horizontally and days are moving down vertically. Then there's the expenses spread. This has remained the same, not much to it, it's fairly straightforward. Finally, the weekly spreads are now in a list format, differing from my usual format of 2x2 two two rectangles on each page, where the second page on the double spread uses the extra 8th day for extra note taking. I've decided not to close off the lists in efforts to make the spread feel more breathable, given it's already quite narrow and squished in. That is all for my August bullet journal spread. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have a very special video planned for the 100th subscriber mark. Like if you liked it or not, your choice. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.